you start by heading to arito.ca and then along the top you'll see membership gateway that you can click on and you can log in normally and on this page you scroll down to memberships and you click on um, your membership so this test um, user is an intern um, if you're a registered member there you'll see registered so you'll see um, this sort of dashboard and there's a box that says to report your PG with a Rito, click here under the light bulb so you click on that and then you're taken to the professional development dashboard so here you see um, the requirements of the four health and safety um, credits and the eight general education credits that are needed. And as you enter them, obviously these um, zeros here will be updated. So it keeps track of what you've reported and how much you need. Um, and if you need to review the PD guide at all in that time, um, the complete guide and the quick start guide are both there. And they also have step-by-step -step instructions for this as well. So to add a credit to your professional development, you come over to this blue box with another green box inside that says add professional development. And a new window will pop up with a form that you need to complete to um, enter all the information about the PD that you've completed. So you can see under the PD activity, there's a drop down menu that includes all of the different types of activities. So structured learning, research, presenting, etc. You want to indicate the type, whether it's general education or health and safety, the level, the hours. So that means the number of credits as well. Um, the date you, this is not the date that you're reporting. It's the date, obviously, that you completed um, this activity and any comments needed. And then down here, um, you where it says drop files here or click to upload, so you can drag and drop a file there or you can also click and a new window pops up and you can select the file and add it. So here you wanna click the blue button that says add and you'll see you have lots of multiple, you have the credit that sort of ready to go and be added to your transcript. Um, you'll see here this red button that says not selected. So this is um, your chance to make any updates you need. Um, otherwise, once you upload it to your PD record, it, you have to contact Arito and have it changed by us. So this is your last chance to make any updates or edits needed. Um, so if you need to make any edits, you click modify this record and the button, the um, box pops back up and you can make any edits you need. Um, if you wanna delete it completely and start over, you can say delete um, or you, so in order to report, what you need to do is you click report and you'll see this box goes from green, red to green. So green means go and you can click submit your PD this blue box underneath and it gets updated and you see now that is in my PD record. So you see here as well, this has been updated, that there's been one credit that's been reported. Um, and if you ever have any questions about this, you can get in touch with um, compliance at arito.ca. Um, and we're happy to help you with anything you need for that. So thanks for watching.